we were overjoyed when baby Sammy was born. Like all parents, we hoped things would be perfect, but early on we knew something wasn't right. Then he went into heart failure, but we didn't know that's what it was at the time. I'm not sure how we got through it. It was terrible. Slowly, though, he got a bit better and began putting on weight until finally we took him home. But he just didn't seem well. He shied away from the light and seemed hungry and thirsty all the time. And what we thought was just a newborn thing, his eyes seemed to wobble, didn't go away. We knew he'd had a traumatic start, but our family and friends kept saying every parent worries about their babies. But we still had nagging doubts. We were back and forth to the doctors. Thankfully, at the hospital, the children's doctor finally suggested genetic testing. That's when we got a diagnosis of Alstrom syndrome. It was a shock at first. We had no idea what it was. The consultant hadn't even heard of it. She told us it's an ultra rare genetic condition that can affect many organs in the body and what caused the heart failure. We were desperate to find out who'd passed it on. I felt so guilty, like it was my fault. But it's a recessive disorder, which means that both parents have to carry a copy of the gene to pass it on. So it's just down to chance whether two carriers come together to have a baby like Sammy. Getting the right tests and a diagnosis meant that we could find out more and get help. We got in touch with Alstrom Syndrome UK, who've been fantastic. They helped us get referred to an annual clinic in Birmingham where an amazing team of experts help with all the different aspects of the condition. We also get to meet other families and take part in activities like cooking and games. Now that Sammy's getting older, we're doing things to help us learn more, get him plenty of exercise and the diabetes and weight gain that go with Alstrom under control. We all want longer, healthier lives for our children. Some of the older kids weren't diagnosed till much later because they didn't have all the symptoms. So we feel lucky we're starting early. It gives us a sense we have some control. Though to see them outdoors on zip wires and climbing and all sorts gave us such hope. The thought of Sammy's health deteriorating, possibly losing his sight, his hearing, and getting type two diabetes, just struggling generally, it's hard, but we can make healthy lifestyle changes as a family and the research that's going on might make things different for him when he's older. The main thing is focusing on what Sammy can do as he grows and staying positive. We know we have to be realistic. There are tough times ahead, but we want to give him the best life we possibly can. There are so many things he can enjoy. We're always so inspired by the adults we've met who have Alstrom syndrome. They've overcome challenges to go on to college. Others are married and living independent lives. One young man has traveled all over the world and even gone on to university abroad. They all go to the annual adult clinic at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. It's got an amazing team of specialist clinicians too, who help manage the syndrome and diagnose adults. ASUK support people there as well. There's lots of other things that ASUK do. They organize weekends away for families. They give grants for small things like swimming lessons tandems, and even arrange specialist driving experiences for teenagers. Most importantly, ASUK have been there for us. We've had someone to talk to, someone who really listens as we get to grips with helping Sammy enjoy his life. We couldn't have coped without them. Alstrom syndrome affects around 75 people in the UK and is believed to affect about one person in a million worldwide. Symptoms can appear from infancy to early adulthood, but it's important to know that not everyone with Alstrom syndrome will have experienced the same symptoms, which can vary enormously for each individual. Getting a diagnosis can be difficult. Many doctors will never have seen this rare disease. And there isn't a cure for Alstrom yet. The focus is on helping each child and adult manage the symptoms and live a healthy, active and fulfilled life. That's where Alstrom Syndrome UK comes in. We raise awareness, support individuals, their families and carers, 
connect people together and promote research. At the very heart of our DNA is a driving force, a passion and vision to improve the lives of those with Alström syndrome. With help, support and contributions, we can help make the vision a reality.